And, and some history here. This is not the first time people have called for Natalie Klein to resign her position. In fact, she's been reprimanded and also investigated by the State Board of Education several times already. Two News Chief Investigative Reporter Wendy Halloran joining us tonight with more on why those investigations found in Klein's favor. Wendy. Well, Heidi and Mark, the State Board of Education has bylaws and policies board members must abide by. But the board has limited recourse if they find that a board member has violated them. And in Klein's case, Case, the board's past investigations say she hasn't. Seems don't impact weather. <laughs> According to you, Natalie Klein has previously been both reprimanded and investigated by the State Board of Education for social media posts targeting teachers, the LGBT community, and anti-racist and equity training. In August of 2023, the board concluded an investigation saying they could not take action because Klein's post is protected by the First Amendment. When it comes to taking action against a board member, the bylaws say a member may be reprimanded or the actions of a board member censured for any violation of law, policy, bylaws, or any other conduct which tends to injure the good name of the board. The bylaws also talk about social media posts, saying members who post or comment on social media do so in an ethical and civil manner and provide a disclaimer for any post or interactions that do not represent the official actions or positions of the board. Prior to that August finding, Klein started her post with not official USBE board position at the top. After that finding, Klein started posting constitutionally protected speech at the top of each post, including the one she posted yesterday. Now, when it comes to removing Klein from her position, the State Board of Education does not have any authority to do that since it is an elected position. The only options for removal would be impeachment, pressuring, pressuring her to resign or not re-elect her. Mark? Thank you, uh, Wendy. We want to hear from you at home. What do you think of the uh, reaction to Natalie Klein's social media post and the apologies? Uh, we've gotten well over 2,000 votes on this poll question. That's a big response. You can scan the QR code on your screen if you'd like to weigh in. And right now, an overwhelming majority of you, 85%, say they, you think that Natalie Klein should resign.